What's up everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing Sorry to Bother You. This is a film written and directed by Boots Riley. Yes, the musician. He's taking his effort and trying to direct a film, which I will say I acclaim him for because I think this film was wonderful, especially from the directing and writing standpoint. I think I'm really going to be looking forward to whatever he does next. But this film is an indie film, and you guys know me, I love some indie films. I got Lakeith Stanfield in here from Atlanta alum, Tessa Thompson, my girl, you guys know I love Tessa Thompson, think she's one of the most underrated one of the up-and-coming actresses out there army hammers in here as well danny glover and steven young from the walking dead now sorry to bother you yeah it's a film i've been looking forward to for a very long time ever since these circuits and i'm very happy to say i really like this film sorry to bother you has a really interesting premise and from the trailers it establishes that it's about in the it takes place in the near future where a man lucky stanfield plays cassius green who decides to get a job at a telemarketing company now, this telemarketing company decides that there is a, he finds out that there is a super way to make money here, and that is by making sales. And how does he make sales? He uses his white voice, as Danny Glover says in the trailer. Now, the trailer hides a lot of what this film is actually about. As I said, I love when trailers don't give away what the film actually is, and I do think that this film won't be what everyone thinks it's going to be. It looks like just an offbeat comedy, but it turns into other things like that. And that's where I really do acclaim Boots Riley for what he did with this film. This film is weird, eccentric, and wacky. One of the weirdest films I've ever seen. But I do like that it went that route. It has lots of symbolism and lots of metaphors that at least I... I'm looking at seeing that I think there is metaphors out there for it, and they do make me want to dive back into the film and see, okay, so what does this mean? What does this mean? It, it's, it's a film you can really analyze in a sense, but also just flat out enjoy as it's going on, because this film, as I said, is wild and wacky and eccentric. This film's energy just keeps going and going and going. It really is a fast-paced film, which at times does feel like the pacing was a little bit off because of that, especially once you get into the third act, because the third act's where I think most people are going to be either on board or not on board with this film. For me, at least, I was on board. It took me a second, though, because it, it, there's when you actually find out what the film's about in that third act, it totally flips the film on its side. And no spoilers, I don't want to give it away, but it, it may, it's a very creative choice that Boots Riley decided, and it does fit with the theme of the film, and that's why I'll leave it at. I was on board with it, but I can definitely see some other people not being on board with it. And I think there is a lot of metaphor and symbolism in there to analyze. And again, I love analyzing film. I love film in general. I love this type of stuff. So this is the kind of film that I want to rewatch again. And it's definitely going to be on my mind for the next few days. Don't get me wrong. Even though I said it's not an offbeat comedy like it portrays out to be, it still is a comedy. This film made me laugh pretty dang hard at certain parts, especially in the beginning when you see, see him doing his white voice, which the white voice is David Cross, which I love David Cross. I love when he shows up in little things like that, but I, I love seeing that. And this is another thing going to sorry to bother you that I really much enjoyed is the way that Boots Riley decided to shoot the film. The way that he shoots the film is so creative and so imaginative that a lot of the scenes just bleed with imaginative and creativeness that I just full on enjoyed. The cinematography if you're here is outstanding and I cannot wait to watch this film again because of that. It just totally stuck out and a lot of the ways how the scenes play out we're just so imaginative, and I've never seen films play out like this before. Since this film is like if you took Get Out, mixed it up with Swiss Army Man, then threw in a little bit of office space in there, then you just took a bunch of acid and watched this film. That's what Sorry to Bother You is about. It is an outstanding film. The more I think about it, the more I definitely liked it. From the performances, from Lakeith Stanfield giving an awesome performance in here, the Tessa Thompson, their chemistry totally working, Stephen Young from Walking Dead alum as Glenn, loved seeing him pop up in here. He has actually a meteor role than I thought he was going to be, and he was very excellent in here. Army Hammer is great, of course. I love seeing him pop into these things. Ever since Lone Ranger, I've been saying, even though Lone Ranger is horrible, I've been saying this guy is going to get roles, and Call Me By Your Name, this film, and even Free Fire last year. Th this is turning out to be a great great time for Army Hammer. I had some problems with the pacing with the film, and I do think even for a directorial debut, 
this film's outstanding. From the creativeness, from the imaginativeness, and from the wacky eccentricness that Boots Riley put into this film, it all works because of the script he wrote and all because of his direction. Without that, I couldn't have seen any other filmmaker doing this. He definitely put his stamp on this film, and I cannot wait to see what Boots Riley does next. So with all that said, I'm going to give Sorry to Bother You a B+. This film is definitely going to stay with me for the next couple days, and I cannot recommend enough because it should be going out nationwide this week. So I definitely recommend you guys try and find a theater near you that's playing Sorry to Bother You. I think it's worth your time to at least see the film once, even if the third act doesn't work for you. I, I think a lot of us can agree at least the first half is excellent in its filmmaking third act might not catch you on board but i'm curious to hear your guys thoughts if you guys have seen sorry to bother you please comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are of sorry to bother you i'm really interested to be talking about this film guys because i again i walked out of the theater and i was like what the hell was that but seriously guys can't wait to hear your guys thoughts on sorry to bother you if you guys want to talk more movies on other platforms go hit up all my social media links then go check out Sandwich on Films down below because at that website, you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news, and also some movie reviews. So guys, you guys don't want to mess it out. Until next time, stay classy.